<coughs> Excuse me. Good morning, folks. I'm out here again with these worms, trying to catch some fish. But oh, don't go down in there. Hang on, click. Okay, folks. I'm out here again this morning, trying to fish with these wigglers. Here's where I got these wigglers and uh, bobber. This time I'm in the canoe, so I don't have to worry about the doggone turtles. Let's see what happens. The water's nice and calm. The sun's just coming up. Well, it's not just coming up, but you know what I mean. I'll be back when something happens. Folks, have y'all heard about this damn thing called a glow worm? I didn't know about it till yesterday when I went to buy these worms. I looked back there on the shelf and it's, they're live. <laughs> they look just like these worms do, except when you, when you touch them or mess with them, or a fish tries to mess with them or whatever, they glow. <laughs> they actually glow. What a freaking trip. Yeah, have y'all ever heard of that? Put a comment down below and let me know if you, they have glow worms where you live. Live freaking worms that glow. That's freaking crazy. All right, we've got bait. This is, for those of you that didn't see last night's video, when I was fishing, what I'm doing is I'm catching bait. I'm catching little ones. Holy shit. There's a big one right freaking there. There's two big ones right there feeding. I'm catching baby ones and I'm putting them on a bigger rod with a bigger hook and a bigger bobber. And I'm catching bass with it. Hook them through the tail, just like that. So they can swim around. So. Holy shit, there's one. There's one right there, but it's up in the bushes. I don't know if I'll be able to. Wow. I better not try that. I'll be back, folks. All right, folks, I've got one. Let's tighten the drag. Nope, I don't have one. He let go. He might have stole my bait. Let's see. Nope, I still got my bait. I wonder why he let go. Huh. Time to drink. Okay, folks, I got my bobber out there. I got my bait on it. While, while I'm sitting there waiting on that, I'm going to tell you. A little bit about what I'm using here. My reel on on my small, my mini is a uh, Fluger, F L U E G E R, uh, G Triton G X, and I've got it on a micro spin, Shakespeare micro spin, and it is light action. And I'm trying to tell you the dimensions, the length, but I can't, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> ah. It's not very big anyway. It's pretty short. Um, that's what I use on my small pole for my small to catch my bait. And that's, that's what I use for fi fishing with the worm, uh, plastic worms, and, and things like that. All the time, most of the time you see me fishing, this is what I'm fishing with. I'll be right back and I'll tell you what I'm fishing. I'll tell you about my other pole. This other one's a Abu uh, Garcia Cardinal 302. And it's on a Fenwick uh, rod. And it looks like it's seven feet. And it's heavy. Well, it says medium power, so I guess it's medium action. But seven feet, yeah, this is for the big fish. Let's just uh, watch that bobber and 
sit back, relax, and have a drink. Folks, this is how I caught my very first bass ever in life was I caught a uh, caught a brim the pond I was fishing at when I was a child. Uh, probably I was probably about maybe seven years old or something. I, I don't know. I can't remember. But I caught a brim and put him on a hook and a bigger bobber and set him out there and just let him sit. And uh, after a while, kabam, I had my first bass. And uh, I have Captain Al Bednar to thank for that. Y'all seen him in some of my videos. If you've watched my deep sea fishing videos, you've, he's the captain of the uh, Time Bandit charter boat over in, uh, uh, where's he at now? He's in freaking Perdido, Perdido Key, Florida. And uh, he taught me how to catch fish. Yeah. On my small uh, rod and reel, I use a four pound test, a uh, four pound fishing line, monofilament. And on this one, I don't, I couldn't tell you what's on here. This, this is the line that was on it whenever I bought it. I bought it many years ago. This thing has just been hanging on the wall. I haven't used it in, in years. <laughs> it's mostly for salt water, I would guess. Well, you can't say it's for salt water or fresh water. It just depends on you. <laughs> but for me, I use it for salt water or fresh water. But I think it would be better uh, on, in salt water. Like for Spanish mackerel or uh, trout, redfish or something like that. Because that's seven feet medium action. It's about right. For uh, salt, salt water. What y'all think, folks? I ain't having a whole lot of luck right now. What should I blame it on? Besides me, <laughs> something else. The barometric pressure. <laughs> something. I'm right here in a good spot now. I think where I can cast over here and catch bait, and cast over here and catch bass. Let's anchor and. Uh, Let's try this for a few minutes. I ain't got very long before the sun comes over the trees and then I'm gonna start to melt. So, let's drop the anchor and, damn it ain't but about fucking two, three feet right here. It ain't very deep at all. All right, we'll be back, I'll be back. There ain't no weed to it. Well, there is a, you know, if you consider my imaginary friend, We'll be back. What's his name, you say? <laughs> Why does it matter? He's imaginary. <laughs> his name's Gene. Get it? Imaginary. Gene. Imaginary. Imaginary. Gene. I don't know. Actually, it's a her, and her name's Gene. <laughs> My imaginary friend's a woman. Ain't all guys imaginary friend a woman? That just goes without saying. <laughs> Every couple of days, your imaginary friend's a woman. Unless you got well, not even not even that. I mean, being married or or having a girlfriend <laughs> goes without saying. That, I mean, you still got an imaginary friend. Oh, we got one. got a nice fucking large we've got a really fucking large fish I mean we've got a large fucking fish oh my god I got a fucking large fish holy shit I've got a freaking big monster fucking bass on here folks you ain't gonna believe this Wow. Now this is one of the nicest fish I've caught out of here in a couple of years. Look at there. That's, 
that's how you catch bigger fish is you use bigger bait uh, go ahead and put your comments down below how much does this bass weigh holy cow he is a cow too there are some big bass in here I'll tell you what, there are some big bass. Look how thick he is. Let's let him, let's let him go. Man, that's a nice fish. And he swims away so calmly. Like he's, this has happened to him before. Big as he is, I'm sure it has happened to him before a couple times. More than a couple times. Damn. I think I'll end this fishing trip on that because what better way to end a fishing trip than with a big ass freaking fish like that go out happy <laughs> speaking of happy I'm gonna go home and call happy I'm happy yeah let me shot a, a gun shotgun sound like uh, I just pulled up to the bank at my house and I decided I'd try one more time there's my bait and there he goes god bless it that's the problem with my fingers. My fingers don't, I guess it's not my fingers, it's a damn fish, it's a damn slippery. Let me get this canoe settled. Let me catch another bait. And I'll be back. This is my bait to catch my bait. Just a little old tiny piece of a worm. All right, let's try this again. He jumped off the damn hook. Oh, come on. He's trying to get in the bucket with the worms. You ain't safe there. You ain't safe here. All right, let's try this again. Oh, I already got a turtle. I already got a damn turtle surrounding me. The freaking turtles, man. Attack of the damn turtles. Urgh. Maybe since I'm in the water, in the canoe, I can, <coughs> maybe I can scare them suckers away easier. I want to try to catch one more though, you know. Might as well, before I go in the house, edit this video, finish this blue cup. I'd, I'd like to finish this daggum blue cup before I go in the house. What am I gonna do today? <laughs> I'm going to lay in the pool and drink whiskey and listen to music. And you know what else? I might even barbecue something on the damn grill tonight. You never know. Y'all put your comments down below. What would you like to see me cook on the grill? Uh, on video. Put your comments down below. I don't think this is going to work, folks. I'm sitting here watching my bobber and what comes up right next to it except a turtle's head. And then he goes down and my bobber starts freaking moving around like crazy. So he's down there terrorizing my bait fish. Uh, I, uh, I'm gonna start killing these turtles. Man, the sun's. Sorry about that big fireball back there. <laughs> Cut. I'm done, folks. I had a fish and I went to set the hook. My nice freaking rod hits the tree above me. So, uh, that's my sign. I should have finished. I should have just quit while I was ahead, right? Right. Thanks for watching. I hate that damn sunshine back there.